If you have Anderson windows in your house, there's a pretty good chance you're missing some screens. Those replacement screens are gonna cost you about $100, maybe more, depending on the size, but I think I found a way that we can replace those screens for about $5. If you're like me and you like to do things yourself around the house, you should know about the Habitat for Humanity restores. I go to them occasionally when I have a project just looking around and the last time I was there, I happened across an amazing find. I got these Anderson window screens for $2 a piece. That's right, $2 American. The only problem is they're not the right size for my windows, but that's okay. They're easy to take apart cut to size, put back together. I'll show you how to do that. If you're wondering why I would go through all that trouble, you missed the first five seconds of this video where I said the screens for these Anderson windows are $100 a piece. The reason why these Anderson screens are so expensive is they use a proprietary clip to hold them in place and other screens don't have these. That's why you can't just go to a glass shop and have them make you a replacement screen. It has to come from Anderson. Another problem is these clips are a little awkward to get in place properly. So that's probably why when we moved into this house, there were seven screens missing. There's no way I'm going out and spending $700 plus shipping on screens. First thing you need to do to get these apart, this is gonna be the same thing if you're just replacing the screen, is pry out these metal bars. This is what holds the screen into the track. There's one. longer ones are going to be a little bit harder and you want to take your time and try not to bend these as you're pulling them out. You can always straighten them but it's a lot easier if you keep them straight as you go along. Once you get those little metal bars out the screen should just come right out like that. And if you're replacing the screen, you could just start putting your new screen in. Now I just need to take these apart and should be able to just tap them and they'll pop apart. So take your time, these corners are plastic. I took apart 13 screens. That's gonna give me enough pieces where I can make seven new screens. It's $26 instead of 700. Definitely worth it to do this. Take your measurements, write them down, and don't forget to account for the little notch in the top where the screen tucks into the window frame. This is the first piece I'm gonna cut. I need a screen that's 19 and three quarters wide, and this happens to be 20 and three quarters. So I need to take about an inch off of this metal piece. When you're measuring, don't forget to account for the width of these corner pieces. They're going to stick out past the corner a little bit. The two of them together are gonna to account for about a quarter of an inch. Since these pieces are aluminum, you can also use a miter saw to cut them if you have that. Now you can just put your corner pieces in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't forget to cut your metal splines to the appropriate length if you need to. I spray painted the frame because I needed it to be white. Doesn't matter, it's still only gonna be a couple of dollar repair. Get yourself a piece of screen. I like to use the fiberglass screen. It's much easier to work with. The aluminum screen is more durable, but it's harder to get a good install. This stuff flexes and stretches a little bit. So I recommend you work with this stuff instead of the aluminum. You wanna make sure it's overhanging the frame all the way around. And it's really handy to have one of these screen tools. So you can use it to run along the groove and just kind of pre-bend the screen. But with this fiberglass, you don't really need it. But that's the purpose of this. You can pick these up at any hardware store. And now we're just gonna put our metal splines in. Just set it above the groove and then tap it into place. It's really handy if you have a rubber mallet. If you don't, I would recommend putting some masking tape over top of your hammer so you don't scratch the paint. Once you get one side in, just give your screen a little bit of a tug to take some of the slack out of it. You don't have to worry about making it too tight because when you put the next spline in, it's gonna tighten it up. And you just work your way around. When you get to the third piece, you want to kind of tug the screen a little bit towards your open corner, but not too much that you're stretching the frame or bending it. And take your spline tool and run it in to give you an idea. If you make your screen too tight, it's going to bend your frame. Now you're going to take a utility knife and just trim the screen by running your knife along the edge of the metal spline and it'll cut through the screen. There you have it. Anderson screen cost me about $5. Let's see if it fits. Thanks for watching.